All right, in this video, we're going to uh, demonstrate the difference in compressive strength between a ceramic crown and a ceramic filling. Uh, one of the main questions I get from my patients is, uh, why can't we just fill it? And uh, why are you recommending a crown? And this is why. A filling can only withstand 33% uh, of their overall surface area of compressive force, meaning that if a tooth compressive area, your chewing surface area, is more than 33% greater than that, then it's not structurally designed for that. And this is going to demonstrate exactly how that goes down. All right, hammer time. Okay, so the filling material began to crumble and parts of it are shattered kind of everywhere. The good thing is it is a very strong material and it went into the wood, but parts of it are still shattered out and about throughout the area, okay? So it did crumble. It did withstand a bit, but it did crumble. All right, now let's try the crown. No matter how many times I whack this thing, it's not gonna break, it's not gonna shatter. Um, it dug itself deep inside the wood down there. Um, if we take a really close look at it, uh, we can see that the uh, crown has not flaked, shattered, etched. There's absolutely no damage to it other than a piece of discoloration on the top. That's from the metal of the uh, hammer, but it hasn't actually damaged the integrity of the crown one iota. So uh, that pretty much... Uh, describes the uh, difference in compressive strength and which one you would choose in uh, the situation.